Welcome, welcome everyone to another live stream. I see that maybe we've got a couple people in here waiting. I know I talked to Nicoletta earlier in Oldendorf and Sheka. Welcome everyone. I have my special friends. I've got Tommy Rich on. I have my Bricks and Me and I have Snow Lena. So make sure you guys go down to the description and uh, check out their Instagram. Check out my Bricks and Me YouTube channel. Uh, hey, Kiani Blogs. Hi, Random Kid. How's it going? How's it going? Um, so we are all building, well, two of us are building the same thing, and then two of us are building different things. So um, I'll start and show off. Um, this was obviously the picture on the front of the, the thumbnail, and I have the Monkey Kid, which is set number 80026, and this is Higsey's, um, what is it? The noodle, noodle tank. tank. Noodle now, tank. Monkey Kid is totally something that uh, I would never think to build, to be very honest with you. Um, we've actually watched Monkey King, which I think is a version of Monkey Kid when he's older, because he's a king. Okay. Um, it, was an, it, was, it was a cool movie show. I don't remember, it was like a, a year or two ago. But um, we saw this, and since I'm really into mocks, it kind of was like, oh, maybe this could be a Chinese restaurant kind of thing. Um, and then all of a sudden, like, the wheels start turning, and I don't see it necessarily as the set it's meant to be. I see it as like something completely different. So when it came out, um, we thought we would we'd pick it up. Well, I think um, uh, who was the person on the stream who was talking about Monkey Kid last the last week? I don't know. Somebody did ask. He's got what the we corn. Thought of. He's got the corn. Oh, Samad, Samad. There we are. Hey, 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 Samad, you were talking about Monkey Kid last week, and look what we got. It made me really start thinking about it. Um, so yes, we're building Monkey Kid, and oh, and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the shoe because I have a special plan for the shoe and I'm gonna show you what my special plan is. I have three or four more coming in the mail. Sorry, Snowina, <laughs> I have a lot of shoes coming <laughs> because I want to change them all up to be different shoes. Um, here in Springfield, Massachusetts, there's actually like an art installation that you can look up where um, there's these giant like life size, like, like human size sneakers that are all like artist painted and stuff and they decorate the streets. So I thought in the city, maybe I would have giant shoes, like art pieces <laughs> in the city. So um, that was my goal for the shoes. So in two hours time, I'm gonna attempt to build 92 pieces. <laughs> That's the goal, okay? Can't finish the stream until this shoe is built. All right, so that's what we're doing. So I'll pass it off to uh, my bricks and me. What are you building? Obviously. <laughs> I am, uh, yeah, I am also going to be with the Pigsy's noodle tank, but mine's going to stay as a noodle tank. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't foresee the, the, I don't foresee myself having the skill to turn this into any kind of living quarters. So it's just going <laughs> to stay how it is. <laughs> when you have Pigsy's, truck too, right? I do, yes. I have the, uh, I do. I haven't built it yet though. It's over there. And I have the headquarters and I haven't built that yet either. So, but um, they should all go very nice together once I actually do put them all together. <laughs> but I, I saw this one that was when it first was leaked and I said, oh, I, I have to have that. So Awesome. Awesome. Who's next? Tommy? I'll go. Yeah, I am doing a rebrickable alt build for the Beatles art set. It is Mando. The awesome. Mando so you just need the one Beatles art set, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. And then you went on rebrickable.com? Yep, I think it was like four pounds. I think it cost me like 480 for the plans. These are actually I had to buy. Okay, so I'll make sure to put that in the description at some point. Uh, I'll get a link to that, and then yeah, if you look at if you go look at alt builds and type in art, yeah, um, it'll pull all the art sets up, and it's one of the top ones for it. Sure, sure. All right, we got the the Australian Selena next. Mm -hmm. And I've got a little bit of a sneaky peek for yeah. all you North Americans that don't have to share. Oh. <laughs> but, yeah. but do you have do you have the little Adidas shoes? That's the question. <laughs> no. Well, that, that's a bit of a kick in the guts there, Tommy. Um, thank you. Thank you. So, so I'm going to build this little this little beauty here. Uh, create a three-in-one fish tank. 
um, which is very cute. I'm going to build it as the standard fish tank first. There is also a treasure chest or a art easel by the looks of it that you can do with it. So I might build it as the fish tank first and then I might let my daughter have a uh, pull it apart and play with it on the weekend and build it as something else. Yes, because that's the, the best thing about Lego, right? You can make it into other things. <laughs> maybe mm -hmm. maybe you should show, show uh, Tommy that, that gold hand you have right there oh, just in case he didn't see fun. it close enough. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Tommy. <laughs> Hi, Tommy. Hello. Well, you, I, I lost picture there for a second. Rock on, Tommy. Rock on. Just, uh, um, those those and, uh, are the fingers you have up. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> and she the, can uh, change the those pictures. Those fingers I can, can yeah. change if, uh, I, if, if they, you they are actually uh, fully articulated. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the other thing I was going to say was that I also <laughs> have the Beatles art set to do a rebrickable for, um, but it's a space build, so it's a space yeah, that, picture. Yeah, that one's really sweet. There's three different ones you can do with that, isn't there? Yeah, so I've got three Beatles art sets to do three space rebrickable <laughs> arts uh, because I picked them up off Amazon really cheap. Nice. So I'm going to do all three. I just need to find some time because I have a lot of things sitting in my backlog at the moment. Yeah, I think oh, everybody here that. has that problem. Uh, yeah, it's, I think it's it's a common issue. <laughs> yes. All right, who have we got here? We've got. Oh, did I say hi to Lego Joe? I hope so. Kiani's in Ireland. There's no monkey kid here. Uh oh. Oh dear. Well, how would you get monkey kid then? I'm not sure. And that uh, Samad saying, "Yep, I was the person. I ended up getting both of these sets last week." Darla Bricks is here. Um, let's see, uh, Lego Joe is building the police station module, awesome. Bag five, I think he said. Oldendorf is not a fan of the Monkey King, but the Bone Demon set has his interest. That is that a cool looking set. Yeah. It really is. They were trying to convince me to buy that when I went into the store. And the, the biggest draw, because it, it does look really cool, but all those pieces glow. Oh, that's oh, a lot of glow in the dark. They people. are all glow in the dark. Like the in like it's just she said everything that's outlined glows in the dark and it was like the majority of it. And just to have all those glow in the dark pieces would just Ooh. be really cool. Yeah, yeah that's absolutely. what that's a hundred and twenty dollar set, you asked? I believe so, yes. hundred and twenty glowy dollars. <laughs> Oh, hey, I'm Board Toys. Hey, Dean Fab. How's it going? We've got a Weenie Brick Girl. Uh, Lori Todd. Bowden Demon also has my interest. I haven't gotten any Monkey Kid yet. Um, B Fab's here to save the day. Mike Prime is in the house. We got a lot going on. Everyone loves a good Monkey monkey Kid set. I'm doing a really good job on this one, too. Can't you see? Yeah, I, don't, I think it's probably I'm Board Toys. I think it's Kevin's least favorite. Oh, and oh, that and mm. Kevin. That was an incredible little micro build you did. Everyone's got to go check that out. Oh yes, his his baby noodle, his baby noodle, <laughs> his baby baby noodle for his for his dumplings. <laughs> Good morning, Rebecca. Rebecca's from Australia as well. Oh, okay. Yep. See, Oldendorf, I'm telling you, it's it's glow in the dark. Go for it. Hmm. I'm trying to think if maybe I could do a. A glow in the dark <laughs> I don't know. What else could I, what could I make it into? Um, Ollendorf is saying he finished his blacksmith and making plans for three in one castle set on whatever it can be, whether it can be raised by the ugly rock piece or not. Oh, I don't know. What do you think, Snowlina? You've, you've seen it all. Bill can be raised up by ugly. Well, yes. Uh, I do also have the three in one castle set. I've got three of them currently built and a fourth one in a box sitting there ready to go. Um, definitely 10 out of 10 recommend the three in one castle set. Absolutely, you've got to pick that one up when it comes out for you guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and yeah, you'd be, you'd be able to raise it up, you put it on a plate and do some burps and burps and things like that on it. And, there's so many possibilities with it. It's fantastic. Awesome. I can't wait to get that. I think we're each 
We're gonna see. I don't know if the Lego store will let us buy more than one each in the store because we were each playing on getting two, but because it's new release day. Yeah, I think they limit it. Yeah, Rebecca has <laughs> Rebecca was trying to buy one the other day and they, she wasn't able to find any in stock. Um, she was at Big W, which is actually where I work in Australia, and she saw a woman exiting the store with a trolley full of Lego, including several of the three-in-one sets. So it's good. keeps me in a job, but it uh, means that she couldn't buy it. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a tough one. You know, I'm, I'm glad they limit us for sure. You know, and we just go back and, and get them or order them, you know, especially if there's promos. I mean... If, if I buy one and I get a promo and I can go back the next day and get another promo, I guess, you know. But, uh, oh, Kevin, if you're if you're just hopping on, I'm going to build this shoe and then I'm going to change it into different colors. That's my that's my little mock for the shoe. I'm going to try to give it, like, an art installation look in my city. So, Samad says he's started to great, gain a great interest in Lego action themes. I'm starting to regret not getting sets from past the action themes that I'm really loving Ninjago at the moment. We actually, Samad, had a ton from my son when he was younger, and I just took the box and I sold it to a guy, guys, for like $50. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, um, live oh, and learn. <laughs> Monkey Kid has lasted longer than I guess I imagined it would, so it seems like it's a pretty, I feel like there's, like, I feel like there should have been more shows involved with it that are more mainstream, but uh, it seems like a pretty popular theme. I think the, the shows are like 11 minutes, 11 or 12 minutes or something. And uh, I've watched all of season one. I do have to watch season two. But I I thought it was good. I sat here and watched them all while I was building stuff. It was it was fun. It was and, and it was easy to follow, but it had a story. <laughs> gotcha. So there was something to follow. Mm hmm. Nice. I'll have to look that up. Um, Tommy Oldendorf wants to know what you're building. I am doing the Mandalorian uh, rebrickable version of the Beatles art set. So yes, that is an art build, art, alt build of an art set, Oldendorf. He's got going there. It's cr crazy how you can go from Beatles to space to Star Wars. It's it's pretty versatile that beetle. <laughs> and make four di what? Four different, four different beetles. Four different beetles. <laughs> And I saw I saw one the other day uh, for the Harry Potter. You don't have to buy all four Harry Potter sets to do the Hogwarts crest now. There's a rebrickable for yeah, actually we've done that one. one. Oh. Well, yep, we did that actually a little while ago because there was no way I was buying all four of those to make like this monstrosity of a of a crest. <laughs> this is nice and like contained, and I I didn't need to spend like five hundred dollars to do it. I am hoping that somebody um, comes out with a rebrickable for the new map. Like I, I've seen the map; it looks very nice, hung up and stuff. But I, I, yeah, I just don't know if if I would want a giant map or if I would want somebody to do something really cool with it. Like with the colors there is, I could see there being like a nice sunsetty kind of thing and and you know something like that and there's plenty of leftover coral and uh orange tiles when you're done with that set yeah, oh, yeah. there's like a disproportionate amount of tiles of the circular tiles of thor it's not like there's an even amount of all colors there's <laughs> there's a lot like i'm gonna have to do a mock that uses those colors just because there are so many and I'll make a whole pathway out of them. <laughs> Which is but, really strange. Like, uh, why is there so many excess of those colors? Yeah, yeah. I'll take a picture when I'm when I'm back up in Maine next week because, and it's not just like a handful. I mean, it's like a baggy full. <laughs> so I'm not sure what they were, were thinking because we, you know, we followed the directions for the most well, part. What if you would have done a different part of the world? Would you have used more? No, because basically like the only thing that's different is it switches where the tiles line up. Oh, so it's not even like yeah. if you change hemispheres or whatnot. That I mean, there's, 
It doesn't change it a little bit? No, because what happens is they just tell you what version you want, where you start in the directions. Oh. And just which way to arrange the squares, right? Yes. Wow. Yeah. So did they give you instructions? Because I know there was a couple of different ways that they indicated that you could do the oceans, for example. Did they give you different versions of instructions for that or was that more of just a uh, serving suggestion, I guess, of how you could interpret it your own way? Yeah, that was just uh, a, uh, you can do these other things, but there was no instructions for doing the C any other way. Right. Okay. So is this strange. your uh, is this your first monkey kid set? Us? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So make sure, Mr. Bins, that pay attention to the bottom of the instruction book. The little monkey kid guy, he runs across the bottom and is the book oh, continues. That's cute. He gets yes. further and further along. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, I have to show this off. So you remember oh, you're oh, using not right. the, there you go. Yeah, so there's a little monkey kid, I guess. Oh, he looks like Brian's already pretty far along, too. He's loading. Oh, Lego reviews, stop motion, and blogs. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you very much. That will go to, of course, Bricks for All Kids. I should run that banner, guys. So if you so choose to do super chats and super stickers during the stream, we have an organization set up where we are all... All super chats and all super stickers are going to Lego for kids in need, foster care, that kind of thing, so that everyone can experience the amazing joy of building Lego. So there is my, my promo for right now. And thank you to Lego Reviews, Stop Motion, and Vlogs for kind of kicking us off tonight. I love it. Um, Got a lot of chat going on, guys. Thanks so much for all for being here. Rebecca mm -hmm. Barr says, I'm a rebrickable addict, and I was in bed last night starring all the ones that I plan to do um, and all the sets <laughs> I need to buy to do them. <laughs> so, yes. And By the end of it, she was calling the bank asking for a loan. No. <laughs> Actually, a lot yeah. of ones I want to do use, like, under $100 sets, surprisingly. So... You can just pick whether you want to live where you are or whether you want to live in Maine. And then one one of the houses can pay for all of the Lego. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would love to live in Maine in like, and we'll do that in like six years, maybe. However long it takes to kick the kid out. No. <laughs> oh, well, you can do that tomorrow if you really want to. <laughs> But I will say that the map was brilliant up on the wall in me. So yes, it it's is there. like perfect up there. And Rebecca asked what I'm building. I'm building this on Rebecca, the three in one fish tank. I can't wait to see the size of that. Do you have an idea of what the size is going to be? So this is the base of it so far. Okay. Yeah. So. This it's going to be the size. Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell. The expectations sometimes are that it's going to be like bigger than it is. And then you're like, mm, you know, I, so I'll be interested to see when it's all done. Olendorf mm -hmm. says, after I finish my Lego backlog, I will build the medieval tavern from Rebrickable for my four medieval barmaid minifigures to live other than bags. But I think the build will be in late August or September. I think he's used up all his Lego budget, it sounds like. Uh, Lori did her first rebrickable, the pop book book, Anchor and Fish Pub last night, thanks to the off and I'm hooked too. Oh, awesome, I can't wait. We still have ours. It's gonna go to Maine with me. That's gonna be one of my things in Maine. Um, so I can't wait to do that. I'm actually going to do all of his, Lori. Like, I got really hooked looking through them. I'd, I've done the one that's rainbow, um, but I want to do the one that uses the Lego movie ship, and I want to do the one that uses, like, an, a retired friend set. So I started them all because I think they're going to be so cute. Um, Lego Reviews and Stop Motion and Blog says, I got the map, and I have three panels done. Awesome. Awesome. I really like it. I'm a, I'm a, a check for the map. Actually, YouTube, 
seems to like my video on the map. So if you all haven't watched the map video, apparently it is a hot search term in YouTube. So uh, <laughs> I, I it, like is, it is a very, very nice set. I like I I don't know, double points is coming. We'll see. Yeah, it's definitely like, <laughs> definitely a double points purchase for Thank sure. You. I have a list of those. I well, I've already decided that I'm gonna get um, a second Spring Lantern Festival for double points. Yes. So that's yeah, that that's a must right there. Yeah. So that one that one's an easy. And right now, here's a plug for Discover Card. Right now, <laughs> it is five percent cash back on anything you buy with Discover on PayPal. So it'll be five percent cash back there and double Lego points. Wow. They'll, they'll, they'll be paying you to buy Lego. I know. Right. That's the point. Yes. <laughs> well, now the question Sorry, is, what's, what's everyone in chat buying for double VIP points? Let's get some input from our lovely chat. And so does I, everybody know? Oh, yeah. Uh, I haven't actually determined if, we ha if we're getting double VIP points here. <laughs> um, yep. We just don't seem to like you in Australia. How about I the... Know. How about the small Adidas shoe? I'd like a, I'd like double points on a small Adidas shoe, please. Thank you. That'd be great. You know what? I'm going to end up feeling so bad for you that I'm going to pay the ridiculous postage and send you a shoe. <laughs> no, it's okay. I, I, I may have organized a shoe. I may have organized a shoe, so it's okay. Um, it's, it is really cute. It, like I, I will say, it is very cute. I've almost opened the bag for it. <laughs> you, I know. Oh my god, we're gonna be streaming till tomorrow noon, guys. Hope y'all well, match up. <laughs> eventually, I will be. Eventually, I'm gonna get off the stream and go watch Loki. So. Yes. Oh, that's right. That's tonight. It's a good episode. I had to watch it twice though, but it's a good episode. You're in. You're in the future, so you get to see all yes. the stuff around. Right? I'm in the future, so I already watched it 12 hours ago. <laughs> See, there's there's your leverage. You can say, be quiet about this shoe or I'm going to spoil her. Yeah, you. I can spoil her. <laughs> all she has to do is point at that gauntlet on her desk, and that's all. And then oh, you mean, your sad. <laughs> you mean this one? Hello, yes, Tommy. Okay. Hello, Tommy. Hi. <laughs> yes. This is a good group. Uh, if you if you have trouble spending your money, we can certainly uh, spend it for you. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Lots lots of suggestions. Yeah. So and Brick Girl is going to pick up the Taj Mahal and some packs. Oh. Brian, if you want to if you want to build the uh, another Lieber alt build, they're on sale in Zavi right now. Ooh, how much are they on sale? Uh, it was about to the three fifty. It was three twenty nine, I think. Okay. Oh. oh, but he's got some other things, I think. <laughs> he can have all the things. There's always room for Lego. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, Master J, what's going on? Random Kid says, think I'll be buying the Corner Garage for double points. Me too, actually. I need another one of those. My birthday is actually during the promotion weekend, the Adidas promo and Charles Dickens overlap. Awesome. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, Old North can't use any VIP, double VIP points because he's banned from shopping. Somehow, I feel like we're going to do like, something. Yeah, I feel like there could be a loophole there because well, there, there should I, always I, be an exception. I feel oh, like the, the last the last video I watched from My Bricks and Me said something about <laughs> no more Lego shopping until <laughs> August 1st. So I, there's clearly I, a loophole <laughs> somewhere. I think every video says that. I'm and I do with try. <laughs> I I try and then things happen. It's it's really it's not my fault. You're you're, you're out of luck, Brian. The the sale ended yes. yesterday. And the Mac. The Ferrari forty eight sticker mobile is on sale though. Sticker mobile. <laughs> uh, let's see. This guy's cute with a little panda mask. Uh, random kid, there is a new Taj Mahal, a smaller one that just came out recently. Um, so it's not the giant one. Oh, I, I can't talk and put a sticker on. Hold on. <laughs> it's an architect of the Taj Mahal. She understands her limitations. That's a good thing. Yes. Yeah. So the new Taj Mahal is an architecture set. Um, so it's quite a bit smaller um, and it's nice. 
nice scale to display on a desk or on a bookshelf as yeah. opposed to the monstrosity that was the previous one. Yeah, that was a little big and challenging. Well, I mean, I guess like the Coliseum is also big and challenging to display as well. But I feel like rounder, I don't know. It, it's We have it kind of in a weird location right now. Um, Lori's banned from shopping till next payday, but you know, uh, yeah. I I want to think there's a couple apps I've seen commercials for that like advance your payday if you need. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, stay away from that. Yes, <laughs> we we highly do not recommend spending outside your means. That's always a good thing to keep in mind. Is that our limit? I didn't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's always wise. I, I speak from words of wisdom and past mistakes. Yeah. 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 So. I but, tend to, to need to learn a few times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's never fun digging yourself out of debt. No. Done it. Yeah. I think we've dug a couple holes, fill them in. Kind of started to redig them a couple times and was like, whoa. So now I'm yeah. like, I am, I filled those holes with cement. So, <laughs> yeah, same here. Uh, let's see. Old North is asking, forgive me for forgetting, but did you get any Brickling designer program sets? I only got Castle in the Forest. Yes. Good on you Good for on being you. able to get yeah. the Castle on the Forest. I've, we We also got the Castle and we got the fishing boat. How about uh, Snowy and what did you get? Did you get anything? I got the castle and I did also put a crowdfund payment, whatever they call it, on the particle accelerator, but that one didn't go through to the final round. So Okay. Yeah. That's a bummer. I'm sorry. I want That's the bowling right. alley to make it through. That bowling alley is awesome. I did want the Mountain View Observatory, but that one's been pushed back to the next round. Oh, to a future Yeah, round. I can't imagine that one's not going to make it. And I want the windmill, too. I think they're both in the same one. The windmill's awesome. I know uh, Tangem wants the windmill because he's Dutch. So that's his uh, reasoning behind the windmill. <laughs> wow, Darla. Darla had a birthday last month. And from her boy, she received a $1,000 Lego gift card. And from her girls, they gave her an $800 Lego gift card. And now I know about the double points day. I'm excited. <laughs> so, yeah, there are, it'll be starting at 12th all week. And there's going to be, like, double promos, right? Did you see that? Who told me about double promos? Yeah, between oh. the 12th and the 14th, I think there's a overlap there's, in the, the program. Is that Alini Brick Girl? You got the shoe, and then you got – is that when Charles Dickens is going to be? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would have been Brick Girl probably that brought, told you guys about that. So yeah, Darla, you are. What is on your list? Let's let's see a list going, Darla. Yeah, um, what are you? That's like a ching. A <laughs> yeah, and Brick Girl is saying, "Buy a Millennium Falcon." <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if Darla is our as a Star Wars fan. I can't quite remember, but gosh, eighteen hundred dollars and double VIP points. Wow, that's that's good. I'm sure you could that cash is, in those VIP a, points for something else, too. Yeah, that is a good day in Legos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Walk into the Lego store and they ask if they can help you. Tell them you'll have one of everything. <laughs> I'll take the lot. <laughs> I shall take the aisle one. <laughs> so Darla, it looks like Darla's going to get the money in Falcon for one of them. But that's still, you still got quite a bit there. I would, I would still be like, hey, you got any damaged boxes in the back? Yeah. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I'm all for that. Just because you you got the money to spend doesn't mean you can't try to find a little bit of a, a bonus. I don't need the boxes. We've been tossing boxes left and right, but we still do have the Millennium Falcon box and we have the Star Destroyer box, right? Yep. We've we got all the, the UCS boxes. Yeah. And I have the modular ones as well. But not the rebrickable the ones we turned into rebrickable things. I did not keep those. I'm going for it, guys. I've got several pieces on now. We'll make it. We'll make it. You can do it. <laughs> we can do it. Um, Good reference. 
Random kid says, Darla, clear out your store's cab wall. You'll thank me later. Oh, yeah. Make sure you get, like, ten cups. <laughs> I know. We're going to go back maybe tomorrow. Are we going tomorrow or no? Uh, would you like to? Oh, I don't know. I guess it sort of depends on Liam's camp. Wherever you'd like to go, Miss Daisy. Okay. It's somebody's birthday week. Oh, it's my Well, not. Well, coming up. Starting Sunday, but do you count? So, do you count your birthday week? Like, like say, okay, my birthday is on Sunday, so we'll just yeah. like. So, do would you count the week before or that week starting Sunday as your birthday week? I don't know why you're not doing a whole month. <laughs> oh well, I, think I'm gonna, I kind of start talking about it like in May, um, just to make sure we have the dates clear and that my husband doesn't throw me a surprise party with his family uh, again. Oh. Oh, <laughs> see, the face she made oh. it was pretty oh. much the face that I had. <laughs> so this is what happened last year. Okay, so on my birthday, I volunteered to take my son to the beach, like the lake beach, and then over to uh, his friend's house's pool for swimming, okay? So all day in the hot, sweaty, yucky sand, and then pool, and a lot of people, and then I get home, and I'm, I'm gross. Like, I feel like bug spray and sunscreen, and I really just want to shower and, like, put on my sweatpants and sit in the AC, you know? Yeah. And then I hear a car pull up. <laughs> and it's, it's his family for dinner. He's like, surprise! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. It's the thought that counts. It is. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin says, definitely count both weeks when it falls on a Sunday. There we go. Yeah. There we go. See? Let's Who's change old? the subject. Is it Roxy Cam time? <laughs> Oh so, wait, which store? Which store are you going to? The Lego store? Or are you going back to that other to the other store? Oh, we'll go to the Lego store. The other store okay. is a good hour and a half drive. And oh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was that far away. Yeah, it's like it's close enough, but not our our Lego store is forty five minutes, so it's like close enough to just kind of say, oh, let's go today. But the other one's kind of like, mm, so like it's still okay of a drive, but it's like not a. It's more of a planned thing. I think once a month will be good for that one for when we go for the lug meetings. You know, I'll okay. do, I'll see what he's got in stock and I'll probably make a big purchase and I'll do a video and we'll have our meeting. And and you'll let me know because I need some of them mini figs. <laughs> you want, I can, you, yeah, I'll take pictures for you and text them to you and yeah. you can let me know and I can buy them while I'm there. Yeah. And I can stick them in the mail. I know that I, uh, I know that I, I honestly like for real, I want, um, every Ninja Turtle that they had. And then, uh, there was, I, I actually wrote it down while I was watching the video. I was like writing down, okay, I need this one. I want this one. And then I would pause and I'd look and I'd be like, oh, okay, this one. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Lori says, I want to find a partner who would be willing to celebrate me for that long. Sign me up. Absolutely, Lori. <laughs> Don't ever sell yourself short. You should be celebrated every day. <laughs> Yay. Yes. Uh, Random Kid says, our Lego stores lineup had 20 people in line yesterday. When I asked for a quick break, they said they weren't offering it for the first week of reopening. So much for, oh, so much for waiting half an hour. Yeah, they probably were just going to try to get through, like, just – like get through people's enthusiasm of being at the Lego store. I mean, I know even on some big release days, they shut it to shut ours down for the morning mm -hmm. until they get through the line and stuff. But that is disappointing if you know you're going for that, you know. Yeah. Sometimes that's the only reason I go. Rexy girl, are you going to sit down? Have you had D-I-N-N-E-R? Yes, I've okay. had her D-I-N-N-E-R. Because yes. thankfully our dog doesn't know how to spell yet. <laughs> yes, she will learn. Sure, sure. Yeah, she'll just know the sound of what D I N N E R means. Yep. Ours knows how to spell walk. <laughs> I had a dog like that too. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's great when they're so smart. <laughs> I don't know how she's all that. She's smart, but sometimes she does things that are not so smart. <laughs> she's smart, but she's not. <laughs> yeah. That's when she's extra cute, right? <laughs> Yeah, something like that. <laughs> something like that. 
All right, I'm gonna build something here. Say it ain't so. How's the monkey kid going? It's going. How's your I monkey a... kid going, Gina? It's going. I just uh, opened bag two. I feel like I'm in a race here with with Mr. Bins, and he's really super winning. But uh, oh, I'm I'm great. loving this panda minifig guy and his panda head. Yes, that is a fun minifig. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I was like, so I know like other people know this, and somehow I don't know why I didn't. I know about going online and ordering bricks. In fact, I ordered 250 of each of the masonry colors, five of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I know, but then I... And Sarah's hoping they get lost too. Oh, <laughs> twice, maybe. Twice. Uh, <laughs> but I honestly didn't really have a clue about buying bricks and pieces of sets. Like I could, I know I I've asked for a replacement part from a right. set, but I didn't realize I could go in to like this monkey kid set and buy like extra panda heads. Right, yeah, like it, like you can do missing or broken and then they replace those for free. I got my, my Ghostbusters piece today, actually. Cool. Uh, and then you can actually like just buy new ones. And for some reason, I don't understand why, but the availability of pieces is different mm -hmm. on, over there than it is on, on regular on regular pick a brick. Now I know that they come from different places. Right. Like one comes from Denmark and another the other one comes from somewhere else. I can't remember because I was talking to customer service one day and she was like, Well, you know, it takes X long because they come from they they come, these ones come from here and these ones come from there. And I don't Maybe that's why it's such a different variety of stuff. Yeah, I know. Or there, it's because it's, it's a different, you know, place. Totally, it's place. definitely different that it's like that. But it's really cool because I, I can get like, well, except I fill the whole cart up of stuff, and then I tried mm -hmm. to confirm it, and it like said, "Sorry, not available at this time. Experiencing difficulty," and then it was all gone. Like it didn't Ooh. save like the pab. Area oh, right. saves it. Right. And so I had like probably 50 different lots in there. You know, I was ordering 20 each of the koi fish. I ordered 20 bees and I ordered 20 ladybugs <laughs> and I ordered right. 100 of the bugle windows and it's crazy stuff. Uh, hey, Amasaurus, how's it going? Hey, all, she says, how's everyone doing? Hey, Amasaurus. Hello, hello. We are. We are all hello, building hello. something different. Brian's mm -hmm. got, Brian and Gina have the monkey kids, the new monkey kid set, and Tommy's got art, and Snowlina has a fish tank, and I'm attempting to build a little too. Ah, shy time is my time. Hey, hey Sam. welcome. Hey. We were watching a video of yours last night, weren't we? Yeah, you just <laughs> put another video out. If you don't follow, shy time is my time, or Emmasaurus. Or uh, my bricks and me. Be sure to go over, give their channels a, a look. Or I'm bored toys. I love the Lego Monday mockumentaries. I haven't been able to make the last two, but that's one of my favorite live streams. Is the yes. Lego Kevin, Kevin? If you're still here, and Emily, I got a new flamingo. Oh, <laughs> it's a flamingo. That, that is the most uh, adorable flamingo ever. <laughs> it comes from a Lego Movie Two set. Oh my God. Hey friends, just a heads up. We are getting thunder and lightning right now. So if the stream just completely disappears, <laughs> that is what it is. So like every night. Every morning, time we schedule a live stream, it appears to be on well, a thunderstorm. Every, every night it's been night. a thunderstorm now for days. Yes, it's been three days here. And I think tomorrow, and then I think that's it. But I think rain the next day. And Kevin, I do not think it floats. <laughs> well, it might. Not like. Not like the Flamodi. No, not like the Flamodi. I mean, it'll I kind say, of like it's probably half drowning while it's floating, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. All right. My goal is to build this little tiny shoe while everyone else builds <laughs> a real set. Yes, how did like, it We did it. <laughs> How's the shoe going? So my oh. fish tank frame 
is finished. Here's my back yeah. shoe frame. There's my shoe frame. Get... <laughs> <laughs> and now I think I get to do all the in interior decorating. All right. So all the, nice. all the fit out. Now I don't I know that you do like do you do gallons when you buy fish tanks in Australia? Is it gallons or is it no. a different measurement? Okay. So liters. I, I, liters. Okay. So how many would that be if you were going to go How buy many liters? Like, yeah. All right, let's see. Let's work this out because it's easy to work out liters because it's actually uh, quite an easy conversion. Hold, please. Okay. <laughs> you and your metric system. I know. Crazy metric system. Proper measurements. I know. <laughs> Actual measurements and stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just lucky to have inches and feet down. I'm just going to go by however many liters I would just have assumed. Okay, that's how many bottles of Mountain Dew. <laughs> that what your fish are swimming in? My goodness, my bricks and me. They're very happy. Her fish are like hyped fish. up all the time. They're super happy fish. <laughs> See, look, I have a fish bowl, though. There you go. It's, it was meant for this project where I take the these... There you go. And I take a bag of this and like combine it all, but it, it sits on the shelf right now. I have actually seen some amazing things online with regular fish tanks with fish in them and Lego built all around it. And it's just so cool looking and I would love to do it, but I don't know if I want my Lego all fish cooey. Well, and then you really got like the Lego is going to get kind of slimy. Slimy, and yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've seen it, like, because even if it just sits in water, it's going to get kind of, you know, forget yeah. the fish poo. And well, then you've got to really weight it and down. And Lego, yes, really floats. So <laughs> you've got to do some, some something to yeah. make the Lego sit down in the water. You did, well, right. I know a lot of people, like, put, I've seen them, like, put rocks, you know, on top of it. And then, like, build around the rocks so that it right. like, stays down. Yeah, so there was a whole episode of Lego Masters in Australia where they had to build in a fish tank. Oh, yes, that was a good one. Mm. Yeah, we haven't that. gotten to that one. I think we're on that season. We haven't gotten to that episode yet. There you go. So this would be a three liter fish tank. Okay. okay. That's not a terrible size. That's like, that's a pretty decent. I'm excited about that one. There you yeah. Go. Let me like, let me let me just do a Google conversion to gallons for you, uh, freedom units. Table. That's about three quarters <laughs> of a gallon. I I know that I have to actually be picky when August rolls around because that's a lot of our, releases for us. And the brickheads, they like I didn't even know that new brickheads were coming out, and that's three more sets. <laughs> the the <laughs> pet ones. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, apparently it is a uh, zero point seven nine uh, of a U.S. liquid gallon, three quarts. Okay. There you go. I think that's a lovely little size. Hi, Thank Elfie. you. Oldendorf, you're gonna have to, ex or someone read Oldendorf's last comment here and help me. I'm not quite understanding. Uh, so he's wondering if you want the letters S and B from We Love What You Build, Little Bins and Bricks. So I don't know if you've seen, there's been a lot of people on Instagram and YouTube posting these uh, letters that are made out of Lego bricks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so he's, he, yeah, with the light that light up. Oh. oh. Yeah, so he's asking if you'd like an S and a B. Yeah, we should do that. We can go buy them. Oh, we can we can put them the other way, and it, we could spell BS. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on the day, yes. <laughs> it's like your gauntlet. I mean, it, it can get switched around, right? It on sure Monday, can. On Monday, <laughs> we're going to go letters. in alphabetical order, and on Fridays, we'll sort of swap it. <laughs> mm. uh, yes, uh -huh. the gauntlet can have different moods depending on. <laughs> <laughs> on how it's feeling, for yeah. sure. 
So Brick Girl is saying that select targets have the Sith, Sith TIE Fighter on sale for 50% off, but only in store. Ooh. Oh, really, you say? But only select ones. Uh, thanks, Kevin, for stopping by. Absolutely. We will enjoy the rest of the stream. And maybe I'll have finished a sneaker. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the color choices in my head, though. So that's why I'm going. Bye, Kevin. See you the next time. <laughs> Old North says, love what you're thinking. <laughs> I try. I try to keep it fun. Because my uh, my building skills here are slow. So Life's too short to be grumpy. Life is too short to be grumpy. Yes, it is. All right. So I really think this can be a customized shoe. I need to get I need to get my dots like Tommy's got those packaging <laughs> dots. Lots and lots and lots of dots. Lots and lots. This package of dots. Yes, I need a couple of those from Zavi. I keep meaning to order them, but I forgot, and now we're going away. So I don't like ordering stuff too close to when we're going away, because then I gotta like. And then it's gotta make its way through customs. And well, your yeah, but your lever came really fast, and Tommy's gauntlet never came. So I guess there's like a <laughs> like I don't know. Yeah. Like either we'll get it the next day, or we won't get it. Yeah, I got some friend stuff and I got that video set and it was not it was not terrible shipping time at all. So Yeah, see I hate to like start then have to start texting people and be like, Can you go by my house and throw those packages inside? Because when I came home from Maine last time, I think there were like ten packages and my house thought I was nuts. Oh. So oh do you guys do you guys have plans for all of these stocks? Tommy, hmm? well, I'm just doing more see? more uh, rebrickable models. I'm, that I'm not going to do. I'm going to do them on uh, gray base plates. Okay. And uh, Miss mm. Nolena, you got plans no. for your dog? No, I just bought him. Just got. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, Don't that's know. fine. That's they like were twenty bucks. So I just got them. Yep. Don't know what I'm going to do with them, really. You sit around and do stuff. And You're going to decorate part. the Lego three in one castle? Could do that, yes. <laughs> do that. Absolutely. Oh, God. Darla's got her list here. She's getting the Millennium Falcon, the Adidas shoe, the Daily Bugle, the Porsche, all the latest brickheads, Manchester United. Her in laws wants to go to the Lego store in Oklahoma City next week. Awesome. Well, next week we're going to be in Maine and we're going to do another like seven sets and seven day challenge. So that's really good. Nice. Nice. I'm going to build seven Adidas shoes in seven days. The little ones. <laughs> yeah, the little ones. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm not too confident that's going to happen. <laughs> so if she, if she starts in the car on the way down, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Well, well, Daryl, it sounds like even without internet, it sounds like you're going to have a good uh, good month in Oklahoma City. Yeah. She's there for four weeks. She has another four weeks here. Oh, I don't know. I love, I love me some internet. That's for sure. Of course, I hear thunder outside, so let's see how much. Let's see how long the internet lasts. Here you go, Brian. You actually, you made nice. it. Nice. That looks pretty decent. You're quick. Wow. I know with the uh, some of the Sith art, you really got to get away from step back. These, I had, I just messed up with a color on the second panel. I had to redo it because they're the plans are, yeah, they're interesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you can still see it from close up. You can yes. tell what it yes. is versus. Yes. Well, there's there's five different shades of brown in this set. So. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. So is it? Are they the studs or the tiles? They're the, the tiles. tiles. The tiles. Oh, I like that. I think that I think you can see that better as art than the studs. Is that just me? Like closer? Like you don't have to be as far away with the tiles versus the studs. I prefer the tiles, yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, Simon Moss is here. Welcome, Simon. Hi, everyone. Thought I'd pop in before bedtime as it's late in the UK. It is late, yeah. It's like probably close to midnight, huh? I'm like, yeah, my, my bedtime's in like an hour and a half. And <laughs> <laughs> no sleep for you till that shoe is done. No. I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> One break at a time. Whereas I've got to start work when I finish this. Oh. Go slow. <laughs> work, 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 work. Yep. Got to pay for this Lego somehow. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I know. I was like, I have to do my actual job because I, I have to buy the Lego with it. <laughs> yeah, I love sitting and making videos and stuff. I suppose someone <laughs> suppose with that two dollars a day in the AdSense. <laughs> so don't be jealous now. Yeah. Not gonna pay the bills, right? No, oh. no, we're not even gonna buy this monkey kid set. <laughs> <laughs> you can maybe get this minifig. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can still like, I certainly can get something for like sixty dollars at the end of the month, but it's by no means um, a glamorous, <laughs> glamorous amount. Uh. Oh yes, Brick Girl, that's my gauntlet. Yeah, this one here. Hello. Hello, Brico. Hello. <laughs> Waving at you. Yeah, Simon, my husband could stay up far later than I can. He's he's the one that's in bed watching all of his favorite Lego YouTubers after I fall asleep, like, after the first, like, 30 seconds of one. Not because they're boring or anything, but, like, I just fall asleep it's so easily. Unless I'm he not watches, upstairs, he, and then you he, he watches videos hours. of you after you fall asleep. Okay. <laughs> oh, sometimes, like, sometimes I'll, I'll be, I'll be like, I'll be there, like, who's boy? Oh, that's my voice. <laughs> I understand when we're trying to get to four thousand watch hours, but enough of that. <laughs> so what you're saying is, his voice put your voice puts him to sleep. <laughs> they have been together a long to time. <laughs> yep. I know my voice doesn't put you to sleep, unfortunately, does it? <laughs> it would if I probably listened to you. <laughs> you go. What, what'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be pretending to turn the mic off. You. <laughs> Heavens. What was the Adam Sandler movie, Click? <laughs> I don't remember. He controls that. everything with the uh, oh, the, the remote yeah. control. No, I don't quite. All right, this one's getting tricky now. Oh, the shoelaces. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> it's getting tricky. It's not wait, tricky. Wait, wait, wait now, it's come on. You're how this. old? You you don't know shoelaces? <laughs> <laughs> <Are these? laughs> I did say what was on the set. Eight plus. It's gonna oh, say this okay. set with like. This set with like 40 pieces in it is getting really tricky now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I put something on in the wrong place though. I did. <laughs> Simon says he often falls asleep in the armchair, wakes up around 2.30 and goes to bed. He usually get up at 6.30 for work. Oh my goodness, four hours of sleep? I no, he's already been sleeping in the armchair. That's true, but mm -hmm. that's weird sleep. We all know that. Yeah, like, yeah that doesn't count. No. And I need like 10 hours, Simon. <laughs> Even then, like my eyes are burning right now. I could probably go upstairs and fall asleep. <laughs> All right, I think we got. Ooh, oh, there's the noodle bowl, everyone. This is where I'm at. <laughs> We're gonna have to, we have to get Mr. Benson Bricks another set. <laughs> Right. Calm down. <laughs> I'm gonna settle I'm gonna down to the, the piggy food truck thing with when double VIP comes around here. Oh, I'm oh. building a little fishy. 
How are your fish coming, Selena? You're building one fishy now. Look. He's oh, so nice. nice. That's <laughs> cool. It's, it's neat to see different ways to build fish. I like that. When you put it, make that bigger. I think that the fish tank, you have to admit, it's very Finding Nemo-ish. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sticker. Some cool printed tiles here. The uh, little uh, noodle bowl with the uh, egg on top. Yeah, so I'm really excited. I can yeah. go into bricks and pieces and order more of those. Yeah, you can. We're going to lose can, them because yes. we're going to shooter. <laughs> oh, no, this whole thing is going to get repurposed. You're not allowed to have anything, Mr. Binns. <laughs> he's nope. got lots of stuff. He's taking, he's, we're taking the Batmobile and the Batwing up to Maine. I'm not going to do anything with those. Get up those to build. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on in chat, my friends? What are you guys up to? Is anyone building anything while we're building? You just hanging out, listening? I think I broke this one. No. <laughs> Didn't build it wrong. No, we didn't. Maybe. The, in the instructions are wrong. That's the instructions are wrong. <laughs> I'm almost there, guys, putting the stripes on. Oh. We're here. Oh. What are we doing, Brian? Do you lose a piece? Yep. Uh oh. I'll get that later. Uh oh. Did you throw the noodle egg? <laughs> Nope. I threw uh, the poor uh, poor customer waiting for his bowl of noodles. Oh, his head. <laughs> ah. No noodles for you. Yeah. Uh-oh. You come back one year. <laughs> Who's getting the uh, Seinfeld when it comes out? No. <sighs> it's, a, it's a hard no for me. <laughs> See, I, I like the show. I'd like to have the figures. I'm not a big. I have the Big Bang Theory. That's my one, one set like that. So my my issue is I have the Friends. I have the Big Bang Theory, and I like to be complete. So <laughs> I have a, a debate going on, but I have never seen all of the Seinfeld. They were always a show that I would put on when there was nothing left to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, I'll watch this one. Now, if they came out with like Everybody Loves Raymond set, I would be all over it. Oh, that's my favorite. But, so it's, it's kind of a debate. Yeah. I want it just to have all of the TV shows that they've been coming out with, but as far as because I love Seinfeld, no. Here, yeah, on that one. I, uh, that, that was like a nothing else is on scenario for me as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds yep. like for Rebecca, too. Uh, it's not like she's playing it on release day. No. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely. I bet that um, guy who did the rebrickable with the Big Bang Theory and the apartments, I bet he's going to add a floor <laughs> yeah. for it. Like, I feel like that thing is just going to become like a monstrosity of a, of a build. <laughs> yeah, it keeps getting bigger, but it looks so Ooh. good. Got another little yeah, fish here. Yeah, that's that's that angel fish. fish. Oh, look at him. Oh. <laughs> Very cute. Don't everyone be jealous, but here, here it is. Here's the oh, shoe. There you I go. Built it. Can, you, can you see that? Can you see that, Selena? Did you? I can actually, <laughs> yeah. That is a nice shoe. And then there's a little guy, little guy. I so like now, the little guy. And I think that the pieces for the most part are, are going to be easy to switch out colors for um when i get other shoes and to build it it doesn't look all that bad the the toe bumper pieces you know i can go on bricks and pieces and order more of those i actually know that i only have one white one in my collection because i saw it when i was sorting so if i were to build my own shoe from scratch i would definitely need 
But we could totally do colors. I don't know. I don't think I have any other colors in that bumper shape. So, but I like it. I have ideas. <laughs> There's been the a lot of attorney. Yeah. <laughs> there, there has been a lot of, uh, of of pictures of people doing cool stuff with the shoes out there online. Uh, right, Simon. Yep, Seinfeld could be one of those modular interior fill sets. Yeah, very true. They, I mean, I think that these uh, TV sets have a lot of great detail inside in terms of like little furniture and all of that kind of stuff that gives you a really good idea for how to build those things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, but I, it's really tough when they're built up on these stages because I know they're making it feel like a, 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 a TV set. So then it's a little weird in that respect. I actually have the friend's apartment over there to start breaking apart. And because uh, I think I'm going to do the alt build, the straight alt build with the apartment and the central park, the one that looks a little, a little funky. Um, just because I want to see what that looks like, and then maybe I can change things out as I go. But since I figured if I have the two sets, I'm going to try to do that. Though I've taken I've taken items from the sets for my mock, so I might be in a little trouble. We'll have to see. But I saw on Amazon that the central perk has been $48, yeah. which is usually like 53 I think, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so I forty-eight that up yesterday. I feel like I need to get another one of those or two. <laughs> Now, to, for like a brief moment, Gina, I think I, I text, I messaged you like the bonsai tree is forty dollars, and when I went back, it was yeah. gone. Was it? Yeah, you yeah. said that, and I was like, "Oh, the bonsai tree is on sale." It's like it was like ten bucks off, and I was like, "Yay!" And then I didn't do anything. But and well, it was I like quick. I went back like pretty quick, and there was nothing, and I should have acted on that like super fast. I what think the razor crest on Prime Day. I'm sorry. I it was it's out of my radar. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's on you. <laughs> Someone doesn't sound a bit salty at all, do they? <laughs> I know. I, I'm I, all sorts of salty. It has nothing to do with Lego. I bought three <laughs> shoes in a bottle, though. So I got some. Wow. <laughs> uh, let's see. Elkie bought built the little shoe yesterday. It is so cute. I this is enough for me. Like this this appeases any thought I might have of the actual shoe. Didn't need to buy a whole shoe box just to get one shoe. Nope. <laughs> nope. I had to buy other stuff though. I had to buy a uh, noodle tank. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It's a good noodle. It is. It looks it looks like it'll be neat. I do I would love if this was all printed, but I know I have to I have to manage my expectations. So since you're going to, you know that you're putting, you're going to take it apart. Are you yep. not putting the stickers on it? I am putting the stickers on it anyway. All right. <laughs> well, no, I mean, they give it a flair, like, and you yeah. know what I mean? Like it gives it the theme and the, the culture. So I do want them there. It'd be cool if they were printed, but I'll go into like the different Chinese new year sets. And I think with, with a couple of them, you can still buy the printed tiles and like they, the little strip of um, from the spring lantern, you can buy the little strip of flags and things. So I think that that'll be, those will be fun to get in addition. Cause I, I'm going to get another spring lantern set for pieces and I might even get another one for just to put away for investment too. Yeah. I've got a second spring lantern set cause it's one of my favorite ones. I love that. Yeah, I love the little fish tiles in the in the river. Yes, cute. yes, yeah, I love fish tiles. That's in my bricks and pieces. I got twenty of each. I don't know. I need I need forty. I need forty clay fish tiles. Nope, you might at some time. You might. <laughs> yeah. Well, I figured I could build this like the noodle house that I'm going to build. It's going to be oh. on a sixteen by thirty. It's going to be a sixteen by. Oh, was that one? Oh, he's cute. It's like Dory. Oh, it's Dory. Yeah. <laughs> I have to. I have to run. Oh, yeah! Right. You got your softball, right? I know. I've got chores. Oh, chores! <laughs> got a Chore. Well, thank you so much for coming on, everyone. Great to uh, see you as Tommy. always, Tommy. Yep. Make sure that you guys check out Tommy's Instagram in the description. I'm gonna sneeze. Bless you. Okay, I'm good.
<laughs> yeah, I'll put pi- I'll put pictures up as I progress on this on my Instagram and everything. So absolutely, nice. sounds I'll good. See you later. Have an have, awesome evening. Have fun being a grown up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to change that. Oh nope. Hold on, guys. There we go. Oh. To pick the right one. <laughs> we all shifted a little. Uh, Ollendorf says, currently in his backlog is the three-in-one castle. Everyone is awesome. Ninjago, submarine, and ice rink mock. So it sounds like even if his Lego budget is cut off, uh, he still has plenty to build. And Simon says there's an awesome mock on Rebrickable where each floor has the friend central park in each apartment. Yes, that's that's definitely the one everyone is talking about. You also need to come up with some extra pieces too. Yeah. There's actually a few different ones going around too. So it's kind of like... You could try them all, see which one you like in the end. Uh, hey, Open Build Repeat. He says, hello, hello. How's it going, my friend? What are you up to tonight? What are you building? You got two monkey kids in an aquarium here and a little tiny shoe. <laughs> Brick Girl says the backlog is too long to even write down. Need to take a peek soon and see if they want to sell any of it or really keep it all. I know we just moved ours down to the basement on some nice racks because it was starting to look like a Lego store in our living room. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it just was time to kind of get that stuff out and uh, clear some of the clutter and then, you know, just pop down there and see what's next to build. So a lot of it I bought for Clear some of the too. clutter and put it somewhere else. Yeah, yes, put it where exactly. you can't see it. <laughs> Make it neat. Exactly, just move it where you can't see it, that's right. I got told that I, I'm looking like I, I have a Lego store down here. Before I came down to the basement and all of the Lego and everything was upstairs in the spare bedroom, before I had tables and stuff because everything was on order, there was so much in the backlog just kept getting bigger because I couldn't keep up, you know, sad. Um, <laughs> and I went out one day and I came back and my wife actually had gotten one of those signs that you put the letters in and she actually like, she put all the sets out in themes around the bedroom. And I walked upstairs and it said, welcome to the Lego store. And there was like literally like 40 <laughs> boxes all over. It was the most awesome thing ever. Oh no. That's fantastic. I love it. That was great. Hey, Papa's Bricks, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Open Build Repeat is building the Adidas shoe. What is Papa's Bricks building? Is he working on a mock tonight? He's got some good stuff over there. If you haven't been over to either Open Build Repeat's channel or Papa's Bricks channel, check those guys out too. Always lots of good stuff going on. A lot of good stuff. It's hard to even like, that's why he stays up late. He's watching everyone and what everyone's doing. <laughs> I'm asleep. <laughs> so you're you're going you're gonna to get the media support from this guy while I sleep. There you go. Is that Loki in disguise next to you? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Do you <laughs> Batman voice? I like to build with black, black bricks and maybe sometimes very, very, very dark gray. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> uh, Papa's Bricks just got off of work and is headed home. Simon says, I have a massive backlog too. My loft is absolutely full of sets. And yet we keep buying more. <laughs> How is that? Uh, it looks like we've got Debbie on here. <laughs> hey. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you could fit it all up in that room anymore. I think I'm, <laughs> I think I've surpassed. I know. He, I had to have him go get another shelf because I'm like, I've got more I want to bring down. And I knew what that meant. So I went and bought three. There you go. <laughs> I did too. Did you? I did. I told you I was Pre- buying multiple. Preemptive, right? Really? Yes. Where are they? They're not mailed, made yet. Oh. Oh, well, we did. No, we did talk about buying more because we have camping equipment that needs to go on shelves as well. So he's future proofing. He is. And that's probably smart. They're, they're decent kinds of shelves. Obviously, they're not shelves you would put in like your living room, but they're perfect for like a basement. Uh, 
Random kid says someone was selling a Grand Emporium for 280 used and incomplete on local classified. Someone beat me to it though. I think now that takes first place for Lego buying regrets. How incomplete mm. was it though? Because when did I buy the Grand? I bought, let's see, back in February, don't hate me, but I bought the Grand Emporium for three. 35 new in box. So times have changed. <laughs> Even Rebecca says she's slowing down on the buying. I need space. Sometimes you just <laughs> get lucky. Yeah. Sometimes you don't get lucky no. and the price just keeps going up. I know. Yeah. It is you you can't hesitate sometimes. You just gotta like I mean, obviously hesitate if you have no money to buy it, but like if you're kind of like, ah, oh, I could buy it or I could go to the Lego store or I'll think about it, you know, that's when someone else is going to jump on it. Um, I know someone on eBay uh, listed a palace cinema used for a $30 or best offer. What? No, $30 bid or make an offer. Okay. And they, they did not, I have to see where it is now because you know what, their listing did not mention Palace Cinema in it or Modular. I think it said Lego City Set. So I offered $60. <laughs> <'cause, laughs> you know. And, and you're like, why not give it a give it a try, right? <laughs> someone did at the same time though, which cancels out the ability to have a best offer, right? So let me see. So I, I did. All right, it, it's at $66 right now, but it's got five days. And this is the Palace Cinema, but what it, like, I can't, what? Hi, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing that this person does not know. Anything? What they have. <laughs> they maybe were just like given this or found it, and they're just like, oh, it's, it must be in the Lego. What they call it? Oh. Um, yeah, it's just like Lego sets used. <laughs> the name is. Those, nice. yeah, those are the people that you see what else do they have for sale yes <laughs> and you Absolutely. Buy it all. i think i did i think i did let me go back and look here they're from elmira new york is that near yeah. you yes <laughs> hey, we're gonna pause the noodle truck for a second <laughs> <laughs> um let's see oh hello evan sturm welcome welcome to the chat I think Evan knows Simon. Uh, Papa's Bricks would love to find the Brick Bank. Absolutely. That one is a pricier one for sure. Even when I bought it a while back, new, that one was um, one of the higher ones. Like, definitely in the, the next level. Not the town hall level, but the level below that. Uh, yeah, that's the one that I would, if I was going to buy a um, retired modular, that's probably the one that I would look for is the brick bank. Yeah, I would absolutely. I think that one was really pretty. I like mm -hmm. that one a lot. Um, I mean, I would say, like, for me, the fire brigade was a good thing to add to the collection. But, like, if I wasn't into collecting the collection, um, you know, I'd, I'd make a pass on it. It's funny because I've had a few different people say that they don't actually like the look of the brick bank, but I actually yeah. love the look of the brick bank. Yeah, me too. I think it's really pretty. I love the windows so. and that they have the, the printed windows and the green and translucent green and clear bricks with the light coming through it. Mm. it and so I like pretty. the white and gray. I, I'm just, yeah, I really like it. So. Ollendorf says it's cheaper to buy all the pieces of Cafe Corner than a set itself. Um, well, almost. It sort of depends on how much time and effort and shippers you want to try and find. The one that I bought uh, most recently that you guys can all watch the video on tomorrow. So make sure you you know watch the video. Uh, definitely, um, unless I spent ages searching through lots and and then contacting the people to get shipping invoices and stuff like that. Cause that, you know, I wish that Bricklink just gave you the shipping upfront on everything. I find that some, or some, some sellers do, like they already have it calculated, but then a lot don't. So if you're trying to buy like lots and things and then a shipper comes back and it has, they have the pieces you need, but they're gonna charge you like 
fifty dollars for shipping. I've seen that, and then it's, it's so I do the easy buy, and I've the easy buy option, so they group it in as few lots as possible. Um, you know, it, it's it's a challenge for sure. Like I struggled with going back and forth on whether to do that or not, but every time I did the easy buy function, I was still at like anywhere from seven seventy five and up for the cafe corner and, and a lot of that didn't even include shipping. I like him. I wonder how he will go with the truck because the truck has a giant <laughs> it um, does have a giant pig on it that that shoots stuff too. So, so I wonder if it's really just gonna be a giant one of them. So if you're gonna buy the truck, don't take that little thing apart yet. So you and see his his down. two eyebrows there? I do. Those I do. are printed one by one plates. Seriously? Oh. Well, I'm not on that bag yet. No, That's see, I see, I would like put nice. this like on the roof of the restaurant. Okay, yes. Like a little billboard kind of thing, like with my arcade. With the shooter, uh, nose shooter and all. Sure. Cool. <laughs> no, I mean, maybe we, maybe was, we I, something. I don't know. I, I think that it was uh dr mcbrick i think it was who took the truck and turned it into a pulled pork restaurant oh Ooh, yeah. love pulled pork mm -hmm. we ate that the other night nemo, nemo. Oh, you nice yeah it's a nice way to learn how to build some fish That's i know cute. right very cute mm. oh, very cute indeed well, look at Simon there with two emporiums in his backlog still boxed, and he's going to combine them together on a Mills plate, of course. Whoa. So are you going to still keep them in the 32 by 32 frame, or are you going to combine them but make them 64 by 64? And he says buying parts in Brickland always works out costing more than you think. It does. It does. Mm -hmm. I think so, you know. Unless you're going, if there's something really specific, like I need a thousand four by four light blue gray plates. Oh, she's all done. There we go. There They're go. all done. It yeah, is so really cute. cute. You can yeah, dress that it. up some more too, couldn't oh. you? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. This is adorable. I love it. Yeah. No, I would get a second one of them. Yeah. And yeah, you're right. It's a, it's really good for different little techniques for building the fish and stuff. This little like um, submarine thingy spins around. It's oh, on a little. Cute. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So that spins around. It's got some cute little coral details in here yeah. as well. So you make some little corals. Yeah, you can uh, I like, make some more. Yeah, yeah I like, I like this one room in there to like you can put a couple more things in there if you wanted you can yeah. put a little couple more corals in there or something and just yeah, there's oh, plenty of room a little more yeah. to get a diver the diver with the sea turtle one of the cmfs he has a like a yeah and then yes. you could you know use the the uh, clear cylinders to prop him up and he could be like yeah i've got plenty know. of those um i've got like plenty that. of those um <laughs> clear cylinders as well so I could do lots of fun stuff. I wonder who else I've got. Let me have a look in my in my parts. I think oh, I've got yeah. like flounder and aerial and oh yeah, so you can you can under the sea scene. You got to put SpongeBob <laughs> in there. I don't have SpongeBob. Oh, and I never really got into SpongeBob, but yeah, I can. I'll I'll see who I've got. Give me one second. Yeah. Let's see. Evan is saying he made some custom Lego cars and they look good. Awesome, Evan. Nice job. I like custom. I'm a big fan of custom. Ah, CJ Build is here. Welcome, my friend. Nice build, she says. Hey, uh, Jane. Elkie says, I really like the fish tank. And uh, Evan built a custom Lego pirate ship. Awesome. Awesome. I'm going to uh, Oldendorf's got to head out. So bye, Oldendorf. Thanks for stopping bye. by, friend. See you, Oldendorf. Uh, Simon's going to put two emporiums side by side with the central walls taken out to make a 32 by 64. Cool. That's going to be giant. Yeah. Absolutely. I like the emporium. I think it's, I'm super happy to have all of them. 
regardless of interiors or whether or not I love it to, you know, like to pieces. <laughs> I just love having the completed collection. Almost. I'm not there yet though. There's one more. Oh, Papa's bricks says, see you later. I'm almost home. Absolutely. Go and rest up. Build some yeah. Lego, eat some dinner. I think after over. my uh, after my train, I think it's the the Emporium is next after I'm done with the uh, the Maersk train here, which I have to say, I love it. Yeah, and I, I like I I've only gotten through the first instruction book, but have you built any of the trains yet? Nope. So the ones that I've built, like the Harry Potter train and um, the Disney train. The, the cars are shorter and where they place the wheels when it goes around the track, like the whole, the whole shape of the, the train moves. So with the, this one, the wheels move, but the train is so long, it just has a whole different look as it goes around uh, the curves. And it's so- Your, your mask train is like the gauntlet for Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> It is uh, like so pretty. pretty. And you got a great deal on that too. You offered them a lot lower than they were asking for. I did. They were like four, four fifty or something like that, or best offer. And I said three seventy five, three fifty. I don't even remember what it was, but they came back like in five minutes and were like, "Sure." I was like, "Oh my god, really? Yay!" That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Well, I mean, they, they probably like, knew like what what they'd at least like to get, and they could get it right away. So, I I it's like it's better than I even thought it was going to be. But I will say, what they do with the stickers, um, I'm not a fan of. I have not had one set yet where you put a sticker over a group of tiles. Oh, so there's like six cheese wedges, and it makes the corner, the front corner, and you have to take this huge sticker and fold it over all of them. Oh, really? and it's it's and it's so it's kind of like you got one shot, make it good. <laughs> Wait, eight, eight, eight mile. <laughs> That's, <laughs> yeah. That's what That's I went to it. as well. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Her girl says the Boeing has a few of those as well. Yeah, yes. it's not. I don't love it. Is it just they're older? Maybe. Uh, it it might be. Yeah. It and they're but they're clear stickers, so I love that. Oh, that helps. Um, yeah. It does. Um, but yeah, I. It's definitely not something that that I'm hoping to run into again. So the, the, the sticker game is anxiety. Be, juicy. Uh, yes, it is crazy sticker anxiety. But they have all come out really well so far. <laughs> Just don't be talking on a live stream while doing them, because my my little guy's yeah. my little guy's sticker is a little off. But I'm not oh. as worried about him. And the stickers aren't numbered. Oh, he's got so, kind of look. It shows you a picture here. Put this sticker on, and a bunch of them look the same. But they're different sizes, so just pay close attention and don't peel off the wrong one. <laughs> um, Random Kid says some of the older city sets also have the illegal overlapping stickers technique. Yes, and then, I would call it illegal for real. Simon said, "Would cutting the stickers to fit each piece look better?" Um, no, that would make it even harder to line it all up because the design is in the sticker. So there's like a star or like, you know, uh, so, so, but what is making it, I think a little easier is so the star on the, on the, on the corner, as long as you can get the, the thing nice in the middle, then you're good. <laughs> Well, I know it's hard when you get stickers even that are not like stickers that don't go over two tiles, but they, they expect them to meet in the middle. And then you, you're not used to doing that with stickers. You're used to centering them. And then you're yeah. like, Ooh, yeah. that was supposed to be all the way over. 
especially with the speed champions too, because you have to like line up all the the car stuff. So if you see like here, this is one sticker. Oh yeah. So, but because it's a star, yeah. as long as you have it right on the edge, you should be good. Sure. But no, if you were if you tried to cut it, then you'd have to just line up the, the pictures for the print. Yeah, so, there, there's not like a gap between a word, say, that you can cut and then. Right. So I'm just going really slow with them. But I, yeah. I have to say I'm even happier with it than I thought I would be. Awesome. Yeah, we've got two, three, three unbuilt train sets in the backlog. So you have Disney, the passenger, the winter. Okay, but the winter is built. So it's three. not in the backlog. Oh. Do you have Harry Potter? Uh, I do, but I'm not oh, counting no. that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm going to sell that one. So, so all right. and you're, and you're good at math. So the so I don't know. I thought it was the winter one and the like the holiday train, right? Yeah, I have that built. And so that's it's not built. Backlog. Okay. So and I have the passenger Disney, train, the Disney pass train. And Harry Potter doesn't count. No. What other kind of train might there be? You got the crocodile train? No. Oh, you got that other train with all the stuff. Yeah, it says contains <laughs> <thing. laughs> cargo train. Yes, yeah. with all the stuff. With all the stuff. <laughs> with all the stuff. I, I knew what the I meant. The train with the stuff and the things. Yeah, that yeah. You No, know, the train that carries stuff. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That, that train with the thingamajiggers. <laughs> I have no clue where I'm ever going to put a train, but I have, well, I have like five, I guess. <laughs> it's it's hard. It, it is so hard. Like, decide you want it, put the track down before anything else, and then work <laughs> around the track yeah. at the end and just never assume you're going to move it. Yeah, you, uh, you actually, you have to decide, like, the train is going to be like a feature and kind yeah. of work around that not try to work it in i think no you, you can't it has to be like one of the first things you do yeah. and i mean i like that i've seen some road plates that have the train track incorporated into them if you want the train track yes. to go straight with them and that then of course cool. you can it does i like that one and then you know there's a, of course the go across but i think i like the train track to run straight with the road. Yeah. Looks really sharp. Yeah. I think when we move to our new location, it's some um, oh Brian's playing with chopsticks. <laughs> I, I can't new... use I can't use Lego ones either. <laughs> That's cute. That's really cute. And then I like that. Is that a sticker? Or is that a printed stickers? Oh, stickers. So that is a sticker, but I, I can see these as a decoration in the mock for sure. <laughs> You could put them in your hair. They could be pretty, like, things. <laughs> there. This is my Lego chopstick. Well, I meant, like, in the back of your head, like, you know, make a ponytail thing and, and use that to stick. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't have it here. here you go. Hey, Detail Exhibits, how's it going? He says the Jaguar or she. I'm sorry. I do that. I'm not sure why. Um, uh, the Jaguar Speed Champions instructions tell you to put two tiny stickers on a sub build at one point. Then the next page, they make you mount that part upside down. Always read ahead a little. Yes. Yeah. The Speed Champions can be really tricky when stickers are involved. Sometimes I do like to read ahead and then I will wait. Random kid, enjoy your dinner. Thanks for stopping by, friend. Always good to see you. See you later, random kid. So you're almost done. How how's Gina doing there on the 
<laughs> I you distracted me with eBay and I couldn't find anything and I'm not going to ask you what it is because you're not going to tell me because you're going to think I'm going to like buy it under you. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can my friend. I'll send you and the I, link and after. Before <laughs> and, uh, and then I was and then I I really don't want it. It's fine. <laughs> but I did want to I did want to see cuz that's crazy. Um and then I was $60. <laughs> you yeah. Know. Yeah. And then I was distracted by my pretty train. I'm like a squirrel. <laughs> I'm I'm almost done with bag four. <laughs> so I definitely need to add some bricks to this to make it any kind of restaurant, though. Yeah, you really will. It doesn't have much walls. You can no. make it a really cool, fancy, rounded restaurant, and you could just put like a dome over the top. Yeah. I think I'm going to wait for my red masonry bricks to come. And then, like, you know, on the Spring Lantern Festival, they have those white rounded pieces that are at the, like, the opening of a park entrance. They're like these. Oh, yeah. For the moon gates, yeah. Yeah. So I was thinking of um, getting some more of those and, and making that be, like, the doorway or something. I don't know. I've got a lot of investigation to do, and I've definitely got to buy more stuff, but. I think I think it'll look pretty cool because as it stands, I'm not sure like where this will kind of fit in my life. But <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take it's gonna take some thought for sure. It makes a cool clicking sound, though. It's <laughs> <laughs> sort of. There you okay. go. Yeah, it meant to click like that. It's clicking. <laughs> I could just keep doing that. Let's do it again. <laughs> okay. I've added yeah, some extra. You, would you pick some in here? Okay, I've added some extra pieces to my uh, aquarium. So I've added the shark from the yes. surf. Club yep. thing, whatever it's called, surf club, the, beach, the house. beach house. Yep, that's the one. Yep, and the turtles, the little turtles. Oops, where are we? The little turtles from it. Yeah, down the front there. Oh, there we go. Little turtles down here. And then I've added. What else have I added? Oh, I've added the stingray from a Moana set. Oh yeah. There you Very go. Nice. Yeah. And then uh, a little. Oh, where are we? Uh, <laughs> I know, it's I'm like, confused. <laughs> I'm back to front. Little uh, Sebastian. Oh, I see him. Well. I see him. Yep. <laughs> <He's such> perfect. <laughs> there you go. That's a nice full. You know, go, was, yeah. Does the nice. Parisian restaurant have seashells? Uh, it might do. I have some seashells from the Friends Aquarium. Oh, no, Aquarium. Oh, the Friends shells, yes. Yeah, the clamshell things. I've got one in a, in the Friends roller coaster. Oh, um, yeah, those would look cool, wouldn't they? Uh, mm. Laying on the ground. Hey, Frankie Wright, how's it going? There's a lot yeah. of fun builds going on tonight. Those of you mm -hmm. who are in the, in, in the not able to buy the aquarium or the gauntlet range. <laughs> yes. Okay. That, is that definitely like I love to see all the pictures that come out, but I think I love to see the live pictures more. It really helps the decision, and yeah. that fish tank is a definite. Absolutely. You know, if you got definite. like a a clear plate to lay across the top, and you could put like a a little boat on it, and you could have mm -hmm. something like fishing, fishing. or yeah. <laughs> fishing in the fish tank. I'm gonna need yeah. a bigger boat. Yeah, you could use the friend's canoe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh a little yeah. rafts. They have rafts and things. So here's the. We got the. Let's I'll give a close up of this monkey, monkey pigsy noodle tank. Like I have no clue. I think it's super cute, for sure. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to catch up on those shows because uh, I I am definitely in love with this noodle tank. It, right. Are you like noodle oh. <laughs> So many. There you go. There you go. All right. Winning. Party boat. Now it's a party. <laughs> party boat. Winner. Maybe just a little Fomodi on top. Yeah. Tam Jam needs a fishing pole. Yeah. There you go. 
Tandrium you got to build, You need like, what, maybe three more <laughs> clearings and you can build one the size for the Plumody. <laughs> yes. Oh, hang on. Well, hang on. Here we go. Hold that thought. Where are we? I like this uh, noodle launcher, this, this this noodle bowl launcher thing. Yes, in the fridge. Yes. Okay, so this is a fridge. Is it open? It does open. It, it does, and it throws things. <laughs> oh, oh, that's where the noodles and the eggs are. And then you launch it through here, and you. Oh gosh! Nothing. Shoot like it out. Oh, and you look at that. <laughs> yep, oh, look at that printed tile. <laughs> <laughs> I need that. <laughs> it's going to be in the restaurant. <laughs> the little, little pieces. So there's a guy with a, what's this guy holding? Good. This is a remote for the little. Mech. Oh, okay. So we got a guy with a little, little remote for the mech. Okay. And then we got the panda suit guy. That's cool. I always like minifigures in animal costumes. They're my favorite. Oh, and then we need. We have this guy who's headless at the moment, who's holding a plate of like a dumpling or something. Oh, I just threw the dumpling. I do wish Lego these, flying all over the place. I do wish these little these little bowls had like a stud in the bottom to like here, give me the head. We'll get some craggle. We'll get some craggle. Oh. Yeah. Don't do I, that. I think someone in the minifigs and the bricks and minifig store while we were there asked. Um, oh no, it was in a real Lego store. They have the official Lego store. Asked it, what would be the best glue? What? No. <laughs> Where's the guy? Did, did you politely escort them out? <laughs> <laughs> the, the manager was like, you know, we really don't authorize or recommend any sort of glue. <laughs> yeah. There you go. He's ready to go swimming now. There we yeah, are. He's, He's got his full emoji on. There it is. He's got his flamody on and he's ready to go swimming. I have him somewhere in a green one. <laughs> Here, so we got dumb little flamody. Awesome. There you go. All right. I better get crack a lacking because I'm going to do some work now. It's 9 30 here. Oh, right. So it's just your morning time. Time to start your yes. day. But you're also starting Thursday as opposed to us ending Wednesday. Yes. Correct. How, yes. how is Thursday so far? Will I have a good day? <laughs> it is. It's a lovely day so far. It's nice All and sunny right. and very nice day so far. Okay. Awesome. When I have so, thunderstorms tomorrow, I'm going to tell you you lied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know where you are, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, I think I am. That's all right. It's all right. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us as always. Yeah, sure. always a lot of fun. I'll, uh, I'll post some pictures think, uh, of my fish tank later. Sure. Am I hosting next week? You you will need to because we're going to be in a place where service is not strong. So we may or may not even be able to join. I don't know, but I definitely don't think we could uh, we could host it successfully. Well, then that's the plan. Okay. Well, I will see you guys later. All All right. Right. We have a have great a day. day. Nice Bye. day at work. Bye. Uh -oh. no, thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was down to two. Again. <laughs> the two people building the monkey kit. Well, the one person building the monkey the kit and I the other people watching her. I yeah okay. <laughs> you're you're doing a lovely job. You're doing far uh, better than I would be able to do. Just keep that uh, in mind. Yes, yeah, so you should have started one of these too, and then I would feel better. <laughs> well, well, I've actually got. I have the friend's apartment to start taking apart. Start taking apart. So, are you are you just taking it apart because you're gonna do stuff with it, or do you have a plan yet? Well. The plan is to probably do the one that doesn't require me to buy additional sets and bricks. Okay. So, because I just want to see what it looks like doing, you know, what, you know, I kind of like to show people what sort of the, the, I don't know the best wording for it, but like what is really doable for like sort of the average builder, the average person who has sets, um, not because, you know, I, I ran... I ran the 
the stuff needed through Bricklink, and you got to buy. Which one do you need to buy two sets of? The apartment uh, or the? You have to have two central perks because two central I was, perks. Yeah, because I was thinking about that. And then you need a bunch of extra pieces. So I feel like I'd love to show someone how they could just take the two mm -hmm. and put them together, even if yes. it's not quite as gorgeous as the other one. But the of course the other one is gorgeous because he used his own discretion to add <laughs> what he yeah. wanted. Right. But you know it's hard. It's hard to buy that much bricks all the time. So. I think yeah. I'm going to do that one. I still really love the single, um, the just taking the central perk and making that small, fun, single little one right with the with the couch up on the yeah the thing. Yeah. So you were I, looking at that a, a while back, right? Yeah, that's been up forever. So I just you know time and all. Yes. <laughs> time <laughs> and backlog and other bills and. But now I'm more excited because I think that. I, I do, it'll make the city a little more custom, so I'm kind of going in that right. direction now. And I feel like it should be a fairly quick build because it's not, you know, it's not a huge set. It might yeah. need some altering. I think it still will need some additional pieces of my own yeah. if I want to, you know, just spice it up a little. Yeah, I think um, I think all the sets that 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 designer does are pretty easy and you know not not super difficult so you know not extremely time consuming yeah so we'll have to see but i know i need to take it apart first because you know like brick girl is saying she feels she wants to do it, the mock of it but she feels like she should put it together the way it was intended first and that's exactly what i did i just wanted to see how it went together and that's the beauty of Lego. If you don't craggle it, you can take it apart. Oh, right. <laughs> craggle. So what do we have? Who's in the chat still? Everyone's so See, quiet some people now. are still here. Y'all just lurking. Y'all, yeah. Yeah, speak up. Ooh, and Snowlena's uh, going to have a tough time working as the delivery driver just arrived. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. She'll be back. <laughs> Oh, Lori asked. Hop back uh, on. Do you know Lori asked to see the duck? Do you have the duck handy that you were mm -hmm. building last time? I do. Yes, you'll have to show off the feature that I didn't even realize it did until you showed. Oh, I, don't know if I was on the stream last or after the stream. Yeah, ended up. after the stream, I think. Yeah, because I finished it a little bit after. So here's the duck. I'll take a look. Yeah. And he comes with his own display stand as well. He does. And it has printed tiles. And Ooh. then here he is. That's so cool. It doesn't even look like Lego from here. It, no. And then... Since he's got some technic in him, when you pull him, Aww. he actually like quacks. That's so cute. He is a definite, definite recommendation. <laughs> so awesome. I am happy with him, yes. Great display piece. Yes. So... Jojo wants to know what modular alt builds do you recommend if you had only one choice? Oh. Um, let's see. If if you're just talking about the new ones on the shelf um, that are available, ah, uh, well, I really am partial to the corner garage because it's so versatile and it's so going to retire. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like we haven't done those mocks yet or those alt builds yet. No, we should take one with us to Maine. But um Jojo, there's so many alt builds that you can do with that one. It seems to be really versatile. Is but that the pub? The pub, the pharmacy, there's a hospital with two of them. There's a, now a cafe. So you got a three for one deal right there. Yeah. You yep. just take it apart and keep rebuilding it. Um, or four if you count the original build. But yeah. who counts that? Nobody. I do think that Assembly Square is really pretty, though. So, and there are all builds for that, not as exceptional, I think, as the garage ones. But 
So, I, I mean, I don't feel like the book, I feel like if you can afford to get the bookshop before it retires, then definitely. Um, I feel like if you can afford to get the police station before it retires, then definitely. Um, they're, but they're not as, I don't know, I, I really like the corner garage for some reason. I don't know, what do you think, Gina? Which one would you say? I, I like the corner garage. I did build the hospital with the two, and it is a corner. Um, there is so much amazing detail inside that, that, you know, that that's, that's, you know, definitely a good one. I think though, the alt build for the bookshop, um, just because I think it's so much better than the bookshop. Yeah. So much more detail in it than, than the original, um, you know, so that one, I think I would favor that one a little bit more. Kind of also because I don't, it's hard to find room for the hospital. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That two base plates is challenging. It's a lot. If, you're, if you're not going to do an all build with it, you just want the regular modular. I think the assembly square is such a, is such a full looking modular, just in the fact that it's got a courtyard and a fountain. You know, yeah, it, it, you know, you can have a little city in all of itself. And all like the city. shops and the apartment yeah. and the train <laughs> yeah. table in the apartment. Yes, it's all got a lot of good. Mm -hmm. So, so I don't think we've helped in any way, but. <laughs> um, Get so, them yeah. all. <laughs> but as far as alt builds go, uh, the pub seems yeah. to be a favorite and out of the uh, corner garage. But no one's built the pharmacy, so. And the pharmacy one- But that's still the same set. Still the same set. Um, but the pharmacy is done by a person named Steino King who has a city on YouTube. Did you know that, Gina? I did not. So I've seen his his city is very custom. So okay. he's, he did the, the directions for the pharmacy of the garage. So I really, I'm really excited to do that one just because you know I've seen his city videos. Okay. I, yeah, I, so I think that the hospital is going to probably have to go. So I would not be opposed to giving the pharmacy a shot because why not? <laughs> oh, and Oki says Lego has the corner garage on back order. Uh oh, that's not even good for double VIP points, especially if I'm out of town. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, DC Alex Vid says with one extra part, you can build assembly square mirrored as well, or just build the corner cafe on a 16 by 32. Oh, okay. Oh, the corner cafe at the assembly square. Yeah. And you know what? Papa's bricks. And I should have mentioned while he's on here because I saw, um, I saw what he was doing. He added an extra 16 by 32 plate when he was building the assembly square and created a bigger courtyard section, thus making it two base plates. So that was kind of neat. So I thought about maybe redoing mine. Uh, let's see, Snowlina says, the friend's apartment for the rebrickable module that you were talking about, the, the uh, Yesco car, Donald Duck Brickheads, and Swing Chip promo were in her packages that just arrived. So you'll be back to the stream in a minute? <laughs> um, well, her shoe and ice castle order came first, so she already had other things. Ah, that's true. Um, oh, I don't want a corner garage to be on back order, though. I need another one. Um, Snowy says, I need, need to get another assembly square to build it regular style. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, but then again, I'm not I'm not as big of a fan of that all build as as you might be. So I might have judge different things I think about. I don't know what the right word is. I'm judging it. <laughs> no, it's, it's, you're not loving it. I'm I'm not. Like I think it's great. Like I think I think it fits it, where it's it, is in the city. Great. Yeah. The shape is amazing. The shape is, is, um, is and I think that any alt build like this that someone comes up with is just clever. Yeah. And I can't do it. So I definitely don't want to be like, oh, this sucks. 
because I couldn't do it. Like that's yeah. a lot of, it's, it's good, it's good. But the assembly square is expensive too. Yeah. It, it's not like the bookshop. So is it worth that much? I'm not quite sure. Like just the, the, the look, the whole outside look of it just doesn't give me as great of a joy as the assembly square. Except with the guitar, I like the guitar. So now the guitar you could probably take and put on anything else though. Like, oh, yeah. You yeah, know, you, you could, and is it a lot of uh, rare pieces or is it just like a bunch of regular stuff that, you know, people might just have laying around? Uh, for the most part, you've probably got all of those pieces laying around one way or another or okay. easily Accessible. replace it with something else. Okay. Um, Jojo says, uh, or Juju, I'm not sure if it's Jojo or Juju. You'll have to let me know if, uh, which one it is because I see the double O. Um, the the T-Rex Rampage is retiring. Do we have that? We don't have that. Um, I don't have anything from Jurassic Park. Is that something that we should have? Uh, that's the big one. I'm uh, the yeah. T-Rex. Yeah, I, uh, so. I could definitely see getting that, but... Uh, we don't have enough space as it is. <laughs> our shelves yeah. are full. We actually moved our shelves around a little bit, but we could. We could maybe consider getting it, building it up, and then like changing our display. I want to get the Lego Ideas dinosaur, so maybe we have like a a dinosaur shelf for a while. And then the T Rex has something to rampage about. <laughs> uh, let's see. What are you talking? What are you taking apart, Sarah and Brian? Says Kendra, Smokey, Winnie, Riggs. Uh, Kendra, welcome. First, um, we are taking apart the friend's apartment right now. We finished building our awesome little monkey kid set here. That will be for my mock at some point. And we built this awesome little tiny shoe that will also be made into something fun for my city. And now we're taking apart the apartment because I'm going to add it with the central perk. And I'm going to attempt to do an art build with it. Oh my God. I have nine minutes for bag six. Let's nine, can you I can do it? Do. It just went down to eight. <laughs> All right, I got eight minutes. Let's see what I can do. So I'm not quite sure, Kendra, what I'm going to do with it officially, but we do need to take it apart to do anything else because I don't, I don't really love it as is, so... It's going to become something for the city. I know that. Um, ooh, a brick girl says she picked up damaged box T-Rex Rampage and they gave you $50 of VIP points. That's ooh. awesome. Jeez, we need to, Brian, you need to ask when we're at the store if they got any damaged boxes. We should get an in with the manager by now. He I have asked. A, he said I, we could, go ahead. I've asked a couple times and the only options that have ever been available at my store have been um not vip points but like just a discount to buy and it was all sets that i really know yeah so it, i haven't gotten lucky yet with you know with points yeah I, you try. I guess it all depends on the manager and because it's clearly not a blanket policy with lego stores because each store right. does things differently a lot of the times. And I did ask, because I went in and like one of the speed champions I was going to get, the box was kind of like, well, it was actually pretty roughed up. But they don't even do damage boxes for like the little sets, at uh, least at my store. I don't know about other stores, but my store was like, mm, you don't really do it for those ones. So I was like, all right. Yeah, they probably figure... <laughs> People are chucking those boxes. Yeah. Uh, Brickville says, depends on the set, cash versus VIP. They have a list behind the counter. Oh. Oh. Huh. Gonna have to investigate this further. The manager at our local Lego store told me to come in when it was quiet and we could investigate how pieces fit in the pick a brick cup. Oh, he said he's always nice. curious to see how how we can how much can get in. So I thought that would be fun. That's cool. I I like the manager at my Lego store. She's really cool. I've I've met her a few times. She's she uh I went in 
last week to grab this set and I actually wanted some roses. They had the tulips. So I was like, okay, cool. And then I was going to get some roses. And I said, do you have, they had some that was on the counter that were, they were holding for somebody. And I said, do you have any left in the back? And the guy was like, no, we don't. And then the manager comes up and says, well, I actually had some that I had set aside for me, but I would be willing to sell them to you. So she actually gave her roses up Wow! and let me buy them. So I, I do have a, I got a good manager at mine. That's very nice. Yeah. yeah. I'd be like, yeah. oh, well. <laughs> I was I was very thankful. I was like, "Are you sure?" I actually kind of felt bad. Yeah, yeah. Our store had a lot of roses. I haven't bought any. I got two when they came back online, and then now I have three. So I now have a half a dozen, and I have not built one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, of course not. No, why? Why would I do that? I I like a backlog. <laughs> Uh, oh, you mean you can build these? <laughs> oh, They're not thought, just pretty boxes. Oh, I thought the boxes were just pretty. <laughs> oh, that's too bad, Juju. Um, they, he says the customer service is uh, so bad near the Lego store near, and that's that's a disappointment oh. for sure. Um, they get so offended when I ask for a nice box. Wow. That's weird. Like, usually they just understand, you know? Yeah. Where, where where are you? Just so I know not to go there. <laughs> right. Goodbye, little friend's apartment. You will be missed. No, not really. No. I can just take out the take out the rug right there. Uh, Glendale, California. Okay. Well, I don't plan on getting done. there anytime soon. <laughs> yep. Went to California once, I can say, but I'm not sure. I will get back out that way. Maybe for something Lego related someday. There's a Lego land out there. Yeah. Just. In the metropolitan area, I have five Lego stores and two bricks and minifigs. I usually frequent three to five Lego stores and the closer bricks and minifigs. And she says two of the stores in the country that get bulk damaged are, she's near one of the two stores that get bulk damaged sets from the warehouse. Wow. That would be pretty cool for sure. Yeah, that would. I mean, I, I, I get that the boxes make the set worth more, but sometimes I'd rather buy the set, pay less for shipping, and not have a box. Yeah, yeah, and we've gotten rid of a lot of our boxes so far. Like, I know that the duck and like everything I got from the Lego house, those boxes, those are staying. I'm not yeah. even gonna probably break those down. Those are gonna just stay put together. Um, but for the most part, unless it's a really special set, I I don't I don't think that it matters that much as far as even resale. Like in the all in all, but I could be super wrong. I don't know. It happens. Yeah, I don't. It's hard to say. I guess. Um... I think we'll see things change up a little as the world opens back up in terms of Lego. Actually, she was telling me at the Bricks and Minifig store that I went to that some guy um, was moving cross country and he just bought a lot of Lego to do during the shutdown and he brought right. it all in to sell it. Like she had like almost every new set on the shelf, you wow. know, and he didn't want it. It was just simply something to occupy yeah. his time. Hey, that's all right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's so I think, you know, you're going to see some of that, like, just stock opening up because people who, you know, maybe they just did it the past time, but weren't really like into it, you know, right. Um, and D. Salix Vid says that so weird other Lego stores offer me damage boxes for discounts without me asking them for it. Yeah, because like, every store is just different. <laughs> They obviously don't follow the same protocols. If I buy older rare sets, 
I'd rather have a damaged box because then I have less trouble opening it. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yep. Like fact, your palace cinema? My palace cinema box was was lightly damaged and <laughs> it was practically falling apart. <laughs> and wet. It looked like somebody had dragged it through a puddle. <laughs> yeah. But it was just slightly damaged. <laughs> um uh Kendra's from Cali. She said it's a pretty place. I've been to, what is I've been to San Francisco and I've been to Muir Woods Park, right? Yes. And we were on the Golden Gate Bridge. We just we went when Liam was very young, like he was 10 months old. We were able to, old. we didn't have to buy him a plane ticket. Yes. Um Palace he flew there on the outside of the plane. The Palace Cinema situation was so funny. So you saw that, huh? Yeah. That was kind of hilarious, too. I mean, he was willing to give me um, money back on it. So that was cool. I'm like, I have to go buy a new box. I haven't bought a new box, just saying. But, like, I saved them all. So it's not like I throw them out. I do save those boxes. So I would have saved that one for sure. How's it going over there, Dina? How's that eight minutes in the bag? <laughs> Listen, does it count if it doesn't hit 801 before I'm done? It's 801. <laughs> it, oh, it was just eight. <laughs> All right, listen, it was so close. I'm building the chopsticks. Like right. everything else is good, so it counts. Oh, you're definitely at the end. So that's oh, good. Yeah, keep building the chopsticks. We'll yes. wait for you to be all done. <laughs> it's the stickers now. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't be stressed when I gotta put stickers on. <laughs> I just plug some pieces. We're good at that today. Yeah, we got Lego flying all over the house here. Yep. Well, you did build a weapon, number one. <laughs> oh, that one, you know. Yeah, I can't blame it on that. Even before that, I was dropping Lego pieces everywhere and the, oh, opening wow. up the bags and well, yeah, out they go. Does anybody else have that problem? Do you open up a bag and you get more pieces on the floor than you do on the table you're working on? Yeah, DC Alex Bits. Have you seen this one that I have? So this one is mint. Like it doesn't get any more mint than this. It should probably be wrapped in bubble wrap. And I know that I should open it and build it. Um but it's so beautiful in its box, it's dusty. So I, I just haven't done it yet. So this is, if you're not familiar, it's a 2012 employee gift, um, Ole Kirk's house from, for the, and I bought it off someone local because we actually live near um, one of the headquarters for Lego. So he worked there and then he was selling off his Lego collection because he was done. So I, you know, it kind of just sits in its box, you know? And you're not going to build that one? Oh, I will eventually. I mean, okay. like, like, Steve but Hope that's really. part of the ones that would not end up in the, uh, in the basement back home. No, that stays up right. there. Um, yeah. Hey, Cosmo, what's going on? Hello, Cosmo. Um, hey. and we are disassembling the friend's apartments. We I am assembling a noodle. <laughs> and she's assembling the noodle thing. Uh, it magically appears under the couch. It sure does. Kendra, I did. I so the stream was supposed to go till eight, so I was just trying to make it on time. Yes, <laughs> yeah, Kendra. We um, we uh, watch. We're gonna watch Loki with our kiddo. So we try to like make sure we don't just kind of ramble on for. Forever and and we do. We that can way. do that here. Yeah, oh yeah, we could easily just keep taking this all apart, right? Yeah. Glad to see I'm not the only one. Yeah, I just <laughs> certain ones for sure. Like, you know, because I'm building a city, I definitely want to build up, you know, the, those modules, the retired modules. So I took those apart, but for sure, like ones that are not necessarily primed to go in the city, kind of kind of linger a little bit. So it'll go up on a nice display when we're ready to. Well, I guess we have a nice display behind us, so um, it will be worth it. And that's a wrap. Yeah! Congrats! We so what do you think it. of the noodle tank? I love it. <laughs> Me too. I, I really, I would play with it. 
<laughs> I'll probably put it on the floor and see how the dog likes it when she wakes up. <laughs> yeah, I see myself shooting the cat. Yep. <laughs> oh. it's, it's really cool. The mini pigs are really cool. I definitely love Pigsy. Yes. Yes. They're cool. And the couple, and you know what? And the stickers weren't even that bad. There wasn't a ton of them and they weren't, they weren't awful for what they were. And I think it's because they were fun. Yeah. Yeah. So they were yeah, fun like and them. colorful and, and yeah. So I think it's a keeper. It's a keeper. Well, Mine will be a keeper, keeper too, just in a different form. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to keep it on wheels? You could no. keep it on the Why can't you keep it on the tank wheels and have it be part of the food truck restaurant rodeo? I'll have to think about that. Think about that. I mean, that. he does like it is set up like he uh the insert interior of the tank there like it's a uh, uh hibachi grill. Yeah, I I yeah. think that's part of it because the the other truck um is not always a weapon either. Sometimes it's just a place where they sell noodles. <laughs> and so, you know, that could be transport. So it's like transformers. So it's like- Sometimes it you're nice fighting crime. Sometimes you get hungry. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just want a noodle and sometimes you have to save your life. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, on that note, my friends, we are going to sign off for the evening. Thank we you so are. much for stopping by. Cosmo, CJ Build, Frankie Wright. Elkie, DCLX Vids. You say Kendra. We got Juju. We got, who else? We got Brick Girl. And we've had Random Kid. And we've had Oldendorf. We have Snowlina, who's got to go to work there. Tommy Rich. Um, we had... Had some more going on. We had some we other found, streamers. Yeah, uh, Lori, and uh, we've had Emma Soros, and we had Shy Time. B Fab. Bricks and Open Bill Repeat. Yeah, well, B Fab was here, and I'm here. So thanks yeah. again, everybody, for stopping okay. by. We definitely had a great time with you. We hope you had a good time too. Make sure to look in the, the description for everyone's channels. You got to go see My Bricks and Me. Her city is constantly evolving. And she oh. constantly says she's not buying anything, and then she goes and buys stuff. So, yeah, you, and you then gotta, I constantly take my tables apart. <laughs> see, so there's always something new happening. And then we'll be back Wednesday night. I think that my bricks and me is going to host it because we'll be in Maine, and Got it'll it. be harder for us. So, if you're not already subscribed, go check out my bricks and me and her channel. Uh, give mm -hmm. us a like if uh, you yeah. thought it was good. Leave us a comment if you think we can improve some way. Give us a like if you didn't like it anyway. <laughs> Help we those got, Google algorithms. If you're still here, you probably liked it. <laughs> we got 14 watching, 14 likes. So we're tied up right now. We've done well. Awesome. <laughs> Guess if you didn't like it, you probably shouldn't still be here right now. <laughs> yes, Lego Joe. We're just live saying goodbye. So thanks again for checking in. Absolutely. Oh, I didn't push the comments down. Okay, guys. So I am going to go up and I'm going to hit the end broadcast. It's a hard thing to do, but I'm going to end it. So we'll Wait. see you next time. What? Thank, what? Thank you, Kendra. I just got subscribed. Oh, awesome. <laughs> That's all. You can end now. <laughs> I can yeah, end. Everybody. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a great night or morning or day. And, uh, we're ending it. Shh. Don't do it.